Remember we used to come here after we got wasted. What's wasted? Uh, when you have a hankering for ice cream. Well, I want to get wasted. I want to get totally wasted. I want to get chocolate wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we left the city. This is such a good place to raise a family. Excuse me for a second. Open the window. Why don't you open it, you... Riding your bike to school in the morning. You couldn't do that in L.A. Yeah, thank God there's no crazy people out here. Oh! How did you become a cop after all that crap we did growing up? Put your hands in the air. And wave them like you just don't care. Say ho! Oh! Say ho! I can't believe we used to jump off this. Hey, this is Kappa Eta Sigma property. <gasps> Easy there, Abercrombie. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! What, what, what? What? Uh, hey, fellas, that was a good handshake. We got a good one, too. It goes like this. Oh, how nice you doing, see. sir? Very good, sir. <laughs> oh, man. We're gonna take off. That way. Naked. You guys are losers. <laughs> Oh, what is happening right now? Well, I might as well enjoy this. Oh. Your car is filthy. <laughs> I kind of don't know what to say about this. Uh, this trailer leaves me somewhat speechless, as I'm sure it does a lot of people. Uh, I've been looking at some of the comments uh, where the trailer is posted elsewhere and people are very divided on this film. Some are like, why does this exist? And some people are like, I can't wait. And you know, it makes sense that there's people who can't wait because the first Grown Ups was so successful. Uh, I mean, we're talking about a movie that cost 80 million to make, which must have gone into salaries because uh, it does, certainly doesn't show up on screen. Uh, but um, you know, it made 80 million and then it brought in 270 million worldwide. And even when you put in the advertising, which isn't included in that budget, you're still talking about tens of millions of dollars in profit. And Adam Sandler desperately needs another box office hit. He has been having a couple of real flops lately, and uh, so you can't fault him for trying to go back to the back to the gold mine and make Grown Ups 2. And I think, you know, it's also a little clever here to do a generational thing, to bring in Taylor Lautner, which, uh, I mean, an interesting choice for Taylor Lautner, but he's not really working otherwise, so why not do this? Uh, also, if you pay attention to the tall blonde guy on, his le on, on our left when you're looking at Taylor Lautner in those shots is Arnold Schwarzenegger's son in his, uh, his acting debut. I wonder if he'll have some lines. I think it's funny they did. I guess he doesn't look too much like Arnold Schwarzenegger, so you wouldn't uh, showcase that in the trailer. But also, you know, uh, Andy Samberg, even though that's my boy, was such a horrible, horrible, horrible flop. Uh, you know, he looked, I, I have to admit, that last line in the car when he's like, your car's really dirty, that, I actually laughed out loud. So, he got me. Uh, and I also like seeing Shaquille O'Neal in here, I think that's, that's clever. Uh, I think that Adam Sandler, this movie wins because it comes out in the summer and you just want to go sit in a movie theater when it's hot outside and this is, you know, pleasant. I mean, I, that said though, I did fall for that on the first one and it was not pleasant. It was, it was actually pretty bad. Uh, in my opinion. But again, a lot of people enjoyed it. It made a lot of money. And, uh, you know, you can't fault Adam Sandler for doing it again uh, for, with that in mind. Uh, so what do you think? Do you do you find any redeeming qualities about Grown Ups 2 at all? Uh, do you understand the first one's success? Which side do you fall on? Are you, are you uh, excited to see the sequel? Or are you part of the camp that's like, I just don't understand why this movie gets made. And, you know, what do you think of Adam Sandler's career? I mean, he's, he's, trying, to, he's trying to keep it afloat, and I think this is a good gamble. Uh, so, as always, thank you for coming to be on the trailer, not just for the latest trailers, but these quick snapshot reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.